question of anger. <clears throat> a lot of people are not familiar necessarily with anger and its association to what's called the wood element. And there's not a lot of direct association and understanding of how when one makes changes or brings balance to the wood element aspects of their body, how it can impact anger and vice versa. So today that's what you can expect us to be um, covering. <clears throat> so for all those that are new just tuning in for the first time, I encourage you to stay. Uh, this is an hour-long live stream and I do them Monday through Thursday. Um, have been doing it for over a year and a half now. And it is my service to you, my service to humanity. Helping bring forth the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Jigong Sha <clears throat> and the subject of soul how you can uh, transform pretty much any area of your life uh, using soul power. And so uh, the wisdom is very practical, it's very applicable. You can use it to bring about transformation in just about any area of your life. And today we're focusing on the subject matter of anger. So if you need to run but you would like to know more about it, <coughs> excuse me, I encourage you to, uh, to like and subscribe and you can always come back to my page. And also I, I put these events on podcasts and you can uh, track them down uh, by going to my podcasts through my website, which is listed above. So those are different ways you can tune in. So thank you everybody for joining. Uh, yesterday was very valuable, very well received. And we focused on a different emotion. Yesterday we focused on fear and its association with the water element. <clears throat> I saw a lot of positive comments. And uh, as a result of yesterday's uh, wisdom teaching and blessings. And to today we will incorporate some similar um, wisdom teachings and blessings, but it'll be specific to the emotional condition of anger and the wood element. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar, actually the associated organ that can posit negatively, excuse me, impact us uh, when it's out of balance is the liver. Uh, if you think about it, you know, alcoholism, alcoholism, typically has associations with uh, anger. And so we'll go a little bit more into that a little bit later today when I go deeper into the teachings. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have been going through some lung purification in the last three days. And uh, so I will do my best to not clear my throat in your ear but um, it, uh, it's not sickness and it's not uh, it's actually related to the volcano on the big island I'm here in the island of Oahu <coughs> in the big island uh, about three weeks of the year uh, the winds reverse and the soot in the air comes to this island and uh, I remember walking outside just a few days ago and breathed in that soot and immediately had an allergic reaction. I started sneezing and, and my chest tightened, my eyes watered. It was instant. And uh, ever since then, it's been very difficult. So I'm in the process of purifying it out of my body. <clears throat> one, of the, one of the tribulations of living in paradise, right? So let's see who's joined us. Welcome Catherine O'Shea. Welcome to Joanna Lennick. Welcome Cindy Kiran. Aloha to Susan Birchmore and Kristen Rojas. Welcome also to Brenda Chung. Aloha and welcome to M.A. Drade and Sherry White. Nikki Gabardi, welcome. Aloha to Kristen Strachan and Larissa Wood. Don Brown, aloha, welcome. <coughs> welcome Michelle, welcome Trina Jeffrey. And welcome also to William Schramm. Uh, Ingeborg, welcome Ingeborg. Welcome Trina and uh, Diana. Welcome also to Oladapo. Welcome Lotzia. And Aloha Elizabeth, welcome Sharon Dodd, welcome Michelle Michelle, Aloha Robert Dosa and Deepak, welcome. <coughs> welcome Julia Lawrence, Karen Mahoney, welcome Janice Crosby, welcome Anita, and welcome Felicia. Thank you all for joining. Thank you also for hitting the share button and letting other people know about today's live stream. Very happy to be connecting with you. And while we are waiting for others to connect, we're going to go ahead <clears throat> connect heart to heart, soul to soul. And I will chant the mantra of love, peace, and harmony to serve each and every one of you. This is a mantra is uh, in 42 languages actually around the world. And you can download it at lovepeaceharmony.org.org. <coughs> Excuse me. And so um, 
I will chant to serve you. This is a healing uh, blessing as well, so make a request. And we'll connect to all the beings of light. Start by placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, right hand remains pointed towards heaven. There are all layers of the divine, the Tao and the source. Our beloved creator, dear our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels and saints. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask <coughs> most humbly and as appropriate for your presence today. We ask most humbly and as appropriate for your blessings today. We invite all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, buddhas and bodhisattvas. All beings of light, including Mother Earth, stars, planets, galaxies and universes. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all and ask for your presence in whatever way is most appropriate to assist with today's wisdom, teachings, and blessings. <coughs> we invite the soul of the wood elements and all the wisdom and teachings of the five element theories specific to the emotional condition of anger to please come at this time, offer their guidance, wisdom, and blessings as well. We're extremely grateful. So we will chant love, peace, and harmony one round to serve each and every one of you to connect us heart to heart, soul to soul. And we invite all souls and all universes to join with us to chant at this time. Lula, Lula, Li. 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 Lula, Lula. Why wash in her ling? Why turn ran lay? Wang li rung her musher shung. Shung I ping on her say. Shung I ping on her say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you all so much for coming and joining. A welcome, Criselda. Uh, welcome to Deepak. Welcome, Missy Dodd. Aloha, Elizabeth. Aloha to uh, Trina, Jeffrey. Welcome also to Angela Diacomo. Aloha and welcome to Donna Fenez. Uh, welcome, Dimple. Also, aloha and welcome to... Uh, Adrian, my buddy Adrian in California. Good to see you, Adrian. Welcome, Shelly. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming. So today's subject is anger and the wood element and how to naturally resolve it. And this kicks off from the teachings of yesterday related to the subject of fear. And although there are some similarities in the foundational wisdom and teachings, there is a significant, significant difference in the uh, comprehension and understanding of the nature of anger, its origination, and uh, how it sources itself into our life. Um, so let's embark on that, shall we? First of all, showing of hands, who has anger problems that they're willing to admit to? <laughs> I saw one of the students, Susan, say that her and her daughter had a spat, and uh, instead of defaulting into I am right and you are wrong and defending, she went into forgiveness. Congratulations. That was excellent. Then I'm sure that resolved things much, much faster. <clears throat> so I see, I start to see, it takes about 10 seconds, so I'm starting to see a lot of thumbs up. Yeah, that's me. I'll admit to my anger. Shelley says, me, big time. Gordon says, me. Welcome, Gordon. Uh, Michelle McDoom, yep. How many find yourself angry with God, right? Be honest. How many are like, oh, why me? Why do you do this to me? 
I know I have been there before. <clears throat> I learned not to do that anymore, but um, I have been there before. So one of the things that happens with anger is that <laughs> we, it really boils down to um, how we form our personality. And our personality is formed by our parents, peers, teachers, and our karma, of course. <clears throat> these impact and are impacted by, these impact our wood element, and I'll go into more teachings there, and are impacted by our wood element. So piggybacking on the wisdom of teachings from yesterday, now all of these, by the way, are wisdoms and teachings that are somewhat universal uh, in the uh, Eastern traditional medicine theologies and, um, and practices. <clears throat> um, but I'll be using uh, specifically Master Shah's wisdom from his books, okay? So the wood element and anger, let's talk, start there. The wood element is one of five elements. These five elements are foundation in all things in all universes, just as yin and yang is in all things in all universes. The law of cause and effect is with all things in all universes. And this again falls into the category of more traditional Eastern thinking. Uh, but even out West, most people don't have an issue with the law of cause and effect. What you give is what you get, right? So you can't necessarily categorize that under Eastern philosophies and, and um, uh, structures. But it is more recognized and spoken. The five elements is almost exclusively related to the uh, Eastern cultures. And there is uh, wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. <clears throat> and each one of the elements has a emotion associated with it. The wood element is the emotion of anger. It also has physical body associations, which include the liver. Everybody touch your liver. What side of your body is it on? Hmm? Let's see if you get it right. Where's your liver at? It's on the right side of your rib cage, underneath the base of your ribs. That's where your liver is. So the liver is uh, where the wood element is, associated anyway. And this is also where a lot of anger can be stored, right? How many of you know of alcoholics, or obviously we know it impacts the liver, and they have significant anger, okay? So vice versa. When one is drinking a lot, it's probably because they're very, very angry already at something that happened to them. Uh, <clears throat> no, it's just you, Kristen. And so uh, the anger aspects uh, associated with the wood element and the liver <clears throat> is very important because it affects other parts of our body, including our eyes. The eyes, eyes are an aspect of the wood element. How many of you have uh, eye problems or have, have had long-standing eye problems? Okay. These eye problems <clears throat> uh, very often have a direct association to the purification of the liver. Now, there was a gentleman that I worked with uh, almost 10 years ago, and he did a very special cleanse diet. Um, and the cleanse diet, oh, that's curious. The audio is a bit faster than the video. Well, I can't change that. <clears throat> um, the cleanse diet was drinking, and you've probably done this before, the, uh, the lemonade maple syrup, right? Okay, so, but this person went way over the top. He did this for not 10 days, which is the recommended maximum amount, not 20 days, not 30 days, but almost 40 full days where all he put through his body was lemonade and maple syrup and water uh, with the cayenne pepper. And so he was delusional, actually. But, <clears throat> and he was also an alcoholic for many years. At the end of this, I was talking to him a couple weeks later, and at the end of this, uh, he, he told me a story where he had went to bed that night with him and his wife, and he picked up his reading glasses. This is after he started normalizing his, his, his life after a week or so. He picked up his glasses, picked up his book, put his reading glasses on, went to read the book, and the book was blurry. Took the glasses off that he'd had for well over 10 years and could read the book fine. Put the glasses back on, could not read the book. So how do you heal the eyes? You heal the eyes by purifying the associated organ or organs that create blockages 
of the coverings of our eyes. So there is a direct association, and traditional Chinese medicine has mapped this out. In Western medicine, they're completely and 100% ignorant of any associations between the eyes and the liver, or also the tendons, right? <clears throat> the, um, the tendons have a direct association with the wood element. How many of you have had tendonitis, right? Elbowitis, uh, elbow, uh, uh, elbowitis, I made that up. Um, anything related to where the joints bend, okay? This can very often be the case associated with the wood element. <clears throat> so there's some background for you there. Now I'm going to give you a much deeper teaching on the wood element now from one of Master Shaw's books. I was using this yesterday. It's called Soul Healing Miracles. And we'll take a moment and welcome Alicia. Welcome Robert Dosa. And let's see, Heather Houston, aloha, welcome. Angela Diacomo, I think I've acknowledged everyone else. And Jim, Coaster Nut, and Stephanie Cannon. <clears throat> if I missed you, forgive me. Welcome. Don't get mad. Don't get angry if I missed you. <sighs> if you do, then <laughs> obviously you're here at the right time. Okay, so I'm on page 26. Welcome, Jones Brown. <clears throat> and he's referring to the wood element and the liver at this time. He says, the liver, just a second, and also the gallbladder, I forgot to mention that. The liver and the gallbladder work together. You've heard of gallstones. <clears throat> okay, the liver is located in the right upper abdomen under the diaphragm. The liver is the jong or the authority organ of the wood element, and its paired yin organ is uh, the gallbladder. <clears throat> I think that's reversed in terms of yin and yang, but they work together. Um, and what's the purpose of this organ? It stores and regulates blood. This is a good education for you guys. Under normal conditions, when the human body is resting or sleeping, the body needs less blood. Most of the blood remains in the liver. When the physical body is doing physical labor or vigorous movement, when the body needs more blood. The liver will release its stored blood to satisfy the needs generated by the activities of the body. <coughs> Abnormal conditions. If the liver's storing and regulating the blood does not function well because of what? Anger or alcoholism. If it's not functioning well, what happens? Then the unhealthy conditions could be blurred vision, spasms, interesting, um, or convulsions of the tendons and muscles, lack of smooth movement of the four extremities. An extremity is arms and legs. Reduction of ev or even stoppage of the menstrual blood flow. Isn't that curious? <clears throat> Who would have thought that <clears throat> a, a uh, unusual menstrual flow would have associations with the liver? Well, according to traditional Chinese medicine, it does. Would this include acid reflux? No. Um, based on my understanding, Nadia, that is actually insufficient amount of acid in your stomach, opposite of what they teach you. Um, if you drink, um, if you juice celery juice uh, every day for 10 days, report back to me. Tell me if your acid reflux is resolved. Okay. <clears throat> Regulating and maintaining the flow of chi and blood. This liver function includes three aspects. Uh, regulating emotions. Interesting, right? The heart is the key organ to house the mind and the emotions, <clears throat> but the liver also affects the emotions. Under normal condition, the liver regulates and maintains free flow of chi. What is chi? Chi is your life force energy. And blood, because there's an ancient secret. Where chi goes, blood follows, right? <clears throat> when, when your chi is not moving, when your body is stagnant, blood can't get there, therefore, uh, uh, the healing does not come to the area. So why do the Chinese masters do qigong? Why do they do tai chi? Why do they do acupuncture? Why is all these activities done? Move the qi, blood follows. When the blood comes, it brings with it everything it needs for the body to bring healing to itself. So the liver has an association with that. So when that is happening, when the qi is moving, then one feels happy, calm, peaceful, harmonized, and more. 
I'm thinking I might have to get a new liver pretty soon here. <clears throat> Abnormal conditions. If the liver does not regulate and maintain the free flow of chi and blood well, the following unhealthy conditions could result. Depression and anxiety. Huh, who would have thought? Weeping, weeping. Paranoia. Belching. Headaches, dizziness, lack of sleep, insomnia. Impatience, irritability, agitation, and more. Isn't that interesting? <clears throat> so apparently, there is a very strange thing happening in the digital conversion. Uh, people say it's like watching a foreign film where the sound comes out after my voice. Uh, apologize about that. Hopefully when it goes to recording, it will fix itself. But welcome to the age of live streams. <clears throat> It also assists with digestion and absorption of food. Normal conditions, if the liver regulates and maintains free flow of chi and blood well, it will assist the spleen in sending food essence and water up to support the stomach, sending food contents down and supporting the secretion of bile so that the function of digestion or absorption are normal. So, if the liver does not help digestion and absorption well, the following unhealthy conditions could occur. Poor appetite, indigestion, diarrhea, bitter taste in the mouth, jaundice, which is yellowing of your skin, constipation, and more. Notice it doesn't say heartburn or acid reflux. <clears throat> okay. And then finally, maintaining free flow and chi of the blood. All, again, all this is related to other health issues in your body. You start to notice the interconnectivity. So if one is carrying a lot of anger, it's potentially negatively impacting these other aspects. It could be impacting your health simply by um, <clears throat> uh, not allowing for healthy digestion. You're having constipation, not sure what's going on. If you're a woman, you could have menstrual imbalances, blurry vision, um, spasms in your tendons and muscles. <clears throat> Who would have thunk these are all related, right? So under normal conditions, normally the heart and lungs play the main role for the circulation of the chi and blood. But the liver has the ability to regulate and maintain the free flow of chi in order to prevent the stagnation. So under abnormal conditions, uh, there could be a pain or uh, like, a, like a tightness, distension, in the breast or upper rib area. You ever had that like in the upper rib area above the liver? It's, it's like tight or, 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 or stuck sticks. <clears throat> Could be a little pain there. Painful or fixed mass in the upper abdomen. Abdominal, excuse me, abnormal menstruation, painful or absent and more. So these are some of the variables associated with the wood element and the liver. Now there are other variables that need to be discussed. Nadia asks, so how can you start eliminating these symptoms or I guess anger in general? <clears throat> well obviously diet is a variable, okay? Uh, balancing the five elements is a variable since they all work together. It's important to balance your five elements. Let me uh, Turn down my media here. Good. <clears throat> um, we have to address it at the level of origin, which is where I kick off from yesterday's teachings. The level of origin of everything is our spiritual virtue and our spiritual debt, karma. Okay. So when we are oblivious, completely unaware of the nature of our karma, isn't it possible, possible, that we adopted angry attitudes from our parents. And if we did, isn't it possible that they adopted it from their parents? So there's ancestral things that are going on there. That's just on the surface. That doesn't include what you can't see, which goes back seven, eight generations, wherein you or your ancestors could have done some very unpleasant things, thoughts, words, or actions to others, in which they had extraordinary anger Maybe they died from anger-related conditions. 
Uh, maybe they made vows and, and death threats against you and your ancestors because of some very unpleasant things that could have been done to or about or towards them. We don't know. But in terms of understanding the nature of spiritual virtue and spiritual debt, it always plays into everything in our life, simply because the law of the universe is cause and effect. <clears throat> so no one has the effect of anger accidentally, ever. This doesn't just fly out of your mouth for no particular reason. Have you ever noticed anybody besides maybe a bipolar person where it just flies out of their mouth for no particular reason? Very rare. Almost always there's precursors to it. Now, some of the common sense psychological precursors <clears throat> include um, expectations. This is something that is, is probably my biggest nemesis. Uh, impatience comes from expectations. Expectations come from attachments. Think this through, guys. I, I'll speak about myself, I have an attachment to things being done a certain way at a certain time. Why? Because I don't want to look bad. Because if I get it done on a certain time and the way I expect it to, then I look good, right? Okay, and I've met my uh, self-built up attachment to looking good. And so, you know, I've witnessed this. I see how it plays itself out and I do my best to unwind it. But we also have to recognize there's real world things that are happening that, um, that still have roots in cause and effect. So what is the cause of my attachments? What is the cause of my wanting to look good, uh, uh, be approved, okay? I want to be approved. That's what the, the original source is. Why do I want to be approved? Probably because uh, I don't have enough self-love. Okay? If I had enough self-love, I wouldn't be looking for approval outside of myself. So from a psychological perspective, we can, we can trace this stuff back. So how do we fix it? Uh, in my case, I love myself more. Very simple. So if we are conscious enough to take a look <clears throat> at what stems the anger, if you just look at it, you will probably find that, well, I was expecting this, an expectation. Why was I expecting this? Because I set it up as such. I told them this, this, and that. I had every reason to expect it to happen. Why wouldn't it happen? I set it up as such, right? But it didn't. And so now my attachment to it being done kicks in because I did everything I could so that it matched my expectations. And now I'm angry because it was out of my control. So this is another variable. When things happen and we do everything we can to where they don't happen, it becomes out of our control. That can make us angry. The ability to see these things can actually make you stop and laugh at yourself if you're conscious enough to it. That's why I can speak out loud about my own lim limiting factors because I'm no more human than anybody else and no less human than anybody else. Um, you know, I'm just a person on the same path of waking up, you know, like, just like everybody else. But when we become aware of it and trace it back, we can change our attachments. In Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, right? What are mindsets? Negative attitudes, uh, negative beliefs, ego attachments. Negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego, what's the last one? Attachments. And so when we start taking responsibility, we can unwind these things. Somebody asked, well, how do I unwind this? Well, we'll do spiritual practices in a minute here that help unwind these things also. Uh, but if you recognize that these things kick in, that you accepted certain things as a truth from your parents, your peers, your upbringing, your belief systems. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Almost got something out there. <clears throat> and so, um, yeah, when we can grasp them, when we can see them, it's a lot easier to laugh at them and let them go. Spiritually speaking, even that attachment has a root. The attachment to be right, the attachment to be loved, the attachment to be accepted and approved by God. <clears throat> so what's the root of not being... Uh, self-loving enough, right? Where I have to have a need to be approved by somebody outside of me. What's the root of that? Typically, 
the root could be could be <clears throat> in false belief systems. Okay, there is a lot of belief systems out there that teach um, that you are insufficient. You are in this example, and I'm not putting down any particular religion. Please don't square your head and take it personally. Um, but some religions teach that we are insufficient to our Creator. We are below. Um, and we can never do anything to be enough or approved. We are sinners, blah, blah, blah. Okay? <clears throat> and yet other belief systems state that we are uh, created in the eye of the Creator, that we are one with the Creator in all times, that we are loved 100% of the time by the Creator, and that we uh, simply need to change our thinking and align ourselves to that same love that is always there. So this could be a cause. Why does this cause come to us? Karma. Think about it. What if I, uh, in uh, five lifetimes ago, was a fire and brimstone preacher? You're going to go to hell if you don't do this and this and that. You're a sinner. There is still that kind of very unpleasant teaching out there. And I could have been one of them, causing people to have a lack of love and respect for themselves, causing them to fear their creator. <clears throat> this is not good. It could create yesterday's subject, fear. Um, but my point is, this all comes back to a cause and effect scenario. So everything has a karmic base. In Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, when we deal with things at the level of soul, at the level of soul, then the mind and body follows. So for anybody new watching for the first time, <clears throat> this is a base foundation teaching from my teacher, Master Shah. This is who he is. Okay, Master Shah. And his baseline teaching, which, which he received from heaven, is when you heal things at the level of origination, then your physical life, your mind, your emotions have to adjust because what we experience down here at the mind level, at the heart level, at the body level, all of our pain, all of our suffering, our finances, blah, 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 is a mirror image of the blockages at the level of soul. Again, touching on yesterday. Our <clears throat> soul carries all of our messages of all lifetimes. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. For those that came in late, I'm clearing some heavy lung blockages. Not sick, just clearing lung blockages. And um, in, in clearing things at the level of soul, meaning doing deep forgiveness, meaning um, doing enough virtuous things to offset the spiritual debts, then these blockages at the level of soul are released. Therefore, your physical body, your emotions of anger in this example, <clears throat> or liver health issues, come into balance. Heal the soul first. Everything down here that's a mirror image of it has to reflect the change that occurred at the level of origination. Okay, That many of you already know. I'm repeating it for those of you that do not. Okay. So I see a couple of comments here. <clears throat> welcome also Kathleen. And welcome Erica. Larissa, I had learned a few experiences, not attachments. Okay, welcome also Sarah MacArthur and Christine Marie. Welcome. <clears throat> okay. Apologize for clearing my throat. If I could avoid it, I would. It's not my most pleasant thing to do in your ear. And welcome Carolyn Crick. So, how do we do this? <clears throat> we employ the four powers. Body power, sound power, mind power, soul power. Body power, where you place your hands, energy goes. So we know that anger has an association to the earth, excuse me, to the wood element, which has a direct association to our liver. So we're going to place our hands in the appropriate positions to bring value to the liver area, which positively impacts the wood element, which positively impacts and releases blockages associated with anger. Okay, so that's the body power. <coughs> Again, deeply apologize, but that will help me to speak better. Um, sound power. The sound power, I'll repeat to you in a moment. I'll re read it directly from Master Shah's book. It will be a little, um, it'll be actually five small uh, sentences specific to healing the wood element. For um, mind power, we're going to visualize uh, green light. Why green? Because green is the color of the wood element. 
<clears throat> we're going to visualize green forest light coming into our liver, uh, clearing blockages in our liver. Okay, soul power, which is the most important of the uh, uh, four powers, connect to the soul. Connect to the soul of what? All the beings of light who we've invited, we ask them to offer their additional assistance. <clears throat> we ask the soul of our liver, the soul of any anger that we have, our attachments, right? All of these things that we've identified. We ask them to release and move on. We do forgiveness because remember, everything is cause and effect. If we have significant anger, not only did we get it from our uh, psychological blockages, our belief systems and whatnot, we also acquired it from our ancestral tree. So when we do forgiveness, we can release the blockages at that level as well. Okay? So everybody sit up straight. Let's do this practice together. <clears throat> Feet flat on the floor, back away from the back of the chair. And we'll, we'll start by connecting first. Place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Now it's just like a prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Right hand stays remaining in the prayer position, gently pointed towards heaven. And this is a hand mudra, so it connects heaven into our heart center. <clears throat> Close your eyes and I will uh, do the invocation. And if it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine creator, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. I wish to sincerely apologize for anger in this and all time that I have ever brought upon you, my beloved creator, or anybody else. Dear all souls of humanity, <clears throat> all souls in all universes, I wish to sincerely apologize on behalf of myself and my ancestors for whatever unpleasant thoughts, words, or actions we may have done to create anger in your life. <clears throat> if I have ever thought very unpleasant things about you, was judgmental, critical, gossiped about you, if I or my ancestors have ever taken things from you, stolen from you, lied to you, broken vows, promises, or anything else that has created in your life significant anger. If I or my ancestors worked or sold alcohol and distilleries, creating conditions in your and your loved one's lives where there was <clears throat> unpleasant anger responses because of the inability to safely intake the alcohol. On behalf of me and my ancestors, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. If I or my ancestors <clears throat> have created in you wrong mindsets, attitudes, or beliefs, uh, attachments that have created conditions of anger, wrong teachings. Once again, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. The person I am today would not make these kinds of mistakes. I have definitely learned my lessons, but I recognize cause and effect. I recognize that I have been holding on to old patterns. I recognize that I have not been conscious in recognizing the source of my anger. <coughs> I sincerely apologize and ask for your unconditional forgiveness. I ask you to please do these practices with me and allow these blockages to release. Continue. Dear my, dear uh, all the souls, beings of light that have been called forth today, my individual heavens teams, all of the beings of light, and you can ask for individual ones. You can ask for Jesus and Buddha, whoever you want to call. 
I love you, honor you, respect you, deeply appreciate. I ask most humbly for your blessings to help me remove these anger blockages in my life. Help me to balance my wood element. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's called talking to the outer souls. Now we communicate with the inner souls. This is the fourth power, soul power. <coughs> dear the soul of my liver, dear the soul of my eyes, my tendons, dear the soul of my gallbladder, and the emotion of anger, the soul of my wood element throughout my body. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. You have the power to heal yourself. You have the power to release your blockages. Do a great job. Thank you. So now we will, with your eyes closed, <clears throat> visualizing green light, green light on your liver coming from 360 degrees, like the beautiful green of a forest. Repeat this five lines to rebuild these blockages. Liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. Liver regulates blood. Continue to repeat. <clears throat> Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. Send greatest love when you do this. Liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. Liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. Repeat. Liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. Liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. <coughs> Liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. Liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Anger is removed. Again, liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. Liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. Liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Anger is removed. Three more times. Liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. Liver regulates blood. <clears throat> Liver promotes chi and blood flow. Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. Last time, liver regulates blood. Liver promotes chi and blood flow. 
Eyes are clear and bright. Tendons and nails are healthy. Anger is removed. <clears throat> Pay attention to your body. When you open your eyes, notice if they are brighter and clearer. Notice any shift in peacefulness and calmness. Da Dao Jiu Jin and Master Sha's wisdom, the Mandarin Chinese means the big way, is extremely simple. <clears throat> the four power technique of where we place our hands, energy goes, the mantra that we chant, sounds very simple. The mind, oh, I don't know, this is really kind of, you know, repeating of some simple words. How can that possibly make an effect? It's because of the soul power that we have the biggest effect. We all know that sound power works, sound heals. If you don't know that, do more homework. We know that creative visualization works. We know that where you place your hands, energy goes. These things are adopted and accepted as true. Soul power is still uh, being observed and validated. <clears throat> but because we ask all the beings of light to come, because we gave the souls within our body, our organ system, etc., a demand, do a good job, because we did all this in one movement what we chant is what we become a one sentence secret we chanted eyes are clear and bright liver moves the chi we are telling our body giving it an order what to do and the beings of light are assisting so when we do a very simple practice da dao jorjin the big way is extremely simple if you have significant anger this is woefully insufficient. You, you need to do more practice, obviously. <clears throat> In Master Shah's book that we're using, Soul Healing Miracles, he has, uh, he has calligraphies in here, including greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest light. Uh, any of these, the greatest love, obviously a very good one for anger. Forgiveness, probably an even better one for anger because forgiveness uh, is very often what is needed and it's very often the source of why we are angry. So when we employ these additional soul-empowered uh, uh, tools that are available within Master Shaw's books, we can have even better results. So in a nutshell, <clears throat> there are five elements. Yesterday we covered the water element with fear. Today we're covering the wood element and the condition of anger and the associated organs. When we acknowledge the interconnectivity of these emotions upon each other, the interconnectivity of the elements, the five elements upon each other, when we acknowledge that what we have learned from birth impacts the way we look at this world and unwind some of it, and when we acknowledge the origination point, the soul is the boss, when we work with things at the level of soul, <clears throat> and then employ the four powers, we can achieve very positive, measurable results. It just requires a little practice, okay? <clears throat> Again, excuse me. So I hope that the video caught up and it hasn't been too much like being in a uh, old Chinese movie where my mouth is moving at a different speed than the video, but it appears to have been that way most of this recording. So what can I do? I apologize uh, about that. But I thank you for your uh, presence and your tenacity to stay this entire time. And I thank you for hitting the share button to let other people know about this. For those that are interested and have significant liver issues or significant health issues, um, there is very high level Tao blessings that can be offered. As a certified master teacher, I have delivered well over hundreds, hundreds of blessings that fall under the category of miracle. If you would like to uh, know more about that, contact me. Um, you can email me, uh, asohealer at yahoo.com. Uh, just follow the link above this video. And then Kristen is usually kind enough to post my information as well in her chat. So thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. And we will see you tomorrow. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the beings of light, please respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody.